As a lot of you probably know, our Quest devices don't actually receive updates all at the same time, and to a lot of you, this seems to be incredibly annoying. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you how to get your Quest on the latest version, whether Meta wants to give it to you or not. Yes, today we have an updated video on how you can force update your Quest 1, Quest 2, Quest 3, Quest Pro, and probably any other future Quest device to the latest version of Quest OS, so that you can get those juicy features that Meta doesn't want to give to you by having a staggered rollout. And yes, you can also install PTCs this way, which are public test channel softwares, that is if you can find them. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Okay, what will you need for this video? You will require some form of a computer, whether it's Linux, Mac OS X, or Windows. That is because we're going to be sideloading these updates. And even more interestingly, you don't actually require developer mode enabled for this, since we are not jumping into the Quest OS, and we are actually just going to be using ADB sideload, which is in a hidden recovery menu that you can access before the device even boots up. As with any kind of sideloading, there is a risk factor involved. So if you don't feel comfortable doing this or feel afraid, maybe you shouldn't. With that being said, I have never had an issue sideloading before. But, but, there is a risk factor involved, I warned you. And just because I've never had issues doesn't mean other people won't. Okay, so first things first, you're going to require platform tools. Platform tools are the official tools provided to us by Google for modifying Android devices. And these are, once again, available on Mac, Linux, and Windows, so that's fantastic. Visit the website down below and download the right platform tools for whichever device you're using. Okay, now that you've got platform tools, save it in a place where you will remember, as we will need to access this folder through a terminal or command prompt later. If you are on Linux or on Windows, you will also need to extract the platform tools folder from the zip that you downloaded. This doesn't seem to happen on Mac OS X, it's just a folder that downloads straight away. Now, grab your Quest device, make sure it's powered off, and then press the volume down and power button at the same time. Once you see your displays turn on, let go of the power button, but keep holding the volume button. Now, when you put on your headset, you should notice that you are in a recovery menu. You can navigate this recovery menu by pressing the volume buttons and the power button. The power button selects and the volume buttons go up or down the list. Here, you will want to select sideload update. Once you select this, your displays will go black and you should notice that your LED went purple for a little while. Now your device is ready to be connected to your computer. And of course, you just do this by using a standard Type-C to USB cable. So now I will show you operating system by operating system how to flash your device. So use the chapters down below in order to skip to the operating system relevant to you. Let's begin with Windows. On Windows, what you're going to want to do is press the Windows key and letter R, type in CMD, and press enter. This will launch the command prompt. What you want to do here is type CD space, find the platform tools folder that you saved earlier, drag it into the command prompt and press enter. This will change our path to the platform tools folder. Here, you will want to type ADB and press enter. If you get this long string of code, it means you're successful and ADB is working. Now with your quest connected to your computer in ADB sideload mode, you want to type ADB space devices. The device should show up as saying it is in sideload. Now that we have the quest showing up, you're going to want to go to uh, this lovely website, which has a name that I don't think I can actually say on YouTube. It's nothing bad. I it, this is a repository of Quest OS's, saved by Basti. Yes, that Basti. Uh, why this specific name? I'm not entirely certain. I guess it's funny, but it does make my life a little bit more difficult, since I highly doubt I can actually put this in the description down below. On this website, you're going to want to select the Quest you are updating, and select the update package that you want to use in order to update your Quest. Download that, and once it is downloaded, you want to go back to your command prompt and type ADB space sideload, space, and drag the update package into the command prompt. It should look like this. Press enter, and the update package should begin sideloading to your quest. Now, it may not get to 100%. Don't worry, this doesn't mean it's failed. Now, what you do want at the end is total exfer, and that's how you know you have been successful. Once you are successful, your quest may or may not reboot on its own. If it doesn't, and you have total exfer, Feel free to just hold the power button for a while. It may take a while, trust me, but it will turn on. So yeah, 
there you go. Your quest should now be updated to the latest version, whether Meta wants to give it to you or not. So let's move on to Mac OS X. Doing this on Mac OS X is incredibly simple. First, you will want to launch the terminal. Find that platform tools folder that you downloaded earlier, copy that folder, and in your terminal type CD space, and then paste it into the terminal. Press enter, and you should now be in that directory. Now what you will want to do is type dot slash ADB. Press enter, and if you get a long string of code, it means ADB is working. Now let's confirm that the computer sees our quest. With the quest in ADB sideload mode and connected to our Mac, let's type dot slash ADB space devices. Press enter, and your device should show up being in ADB sideload mode. Once you have this, you know you're ready to go. Go on to the funny website created by Basti, select the device that you want to update, find the version of the software that you want to update to, and download it. Now go back into your terminal, type dot slash adb space sideload space and copy the update file you just downloaded into the terminal. Press enter and your device should begin sideloading the update. You know the update is successful once it says total exfer. It might not get to 100%, but once it says total exfer, you know you're good to go. Your device may or may not reboot on its own, and if it doesn't, press and hold the power button. It will take a little while longer, but keep holding that power button until you see the meta logo. There you guys go. That's how simple it is on Mac OS X. Let's move on to Linux. On Linux, it's very much the same. What you want to do is, once again, launch the terminal, type cd space, copy that platform tools folder for Linux that you had earlier, paste it into the terminal, and press enter. This should, once again, throw you into that path in the terminal. Type dot slash adb, press enter, and if you get this long line of code, it means you're successful. You've got adb working on Linux. Now, with your quest connected to your computer in adb sideload mode, type dot slash adb space devices. Press enter. Now, what I did notice is that Linux didn't want to start my adb server without privileges. So if you get the same error that I got here, all you need to do is put sudo in front of the dot slash adb command. This will run that command with the privileges Linux seems to require in order to connect to our quest. Your device should show up right here saying it's in adb sideload. This is our quest. Now, go onto the funny website created by Basti. Uh, links probably won't be down below. Select the quest that you're updating, find the update package that you want, usually the latest one, and download it. Once you have it downloaded, go back to your terminal, type dot slash adb space sideload space, and copy the update package that you just downloaded into the terminal. Press enter, and the update should begin downloading. You will know it's complete when it says total exfer. Don't worry, if it doesn't hit 100%, sometimes it just doesn't. Once it says total exfer, you know it's done. Your quest may or may not reboot on its own, and if it doesn't, feel free to press and hold the power button for quite some time. Once you see the meta logo, you know your device is updated successfully. So there you guys go. I actually installed a Hackintosh in order to just record this video so that I make sure to cover all my bases this time. Yeah, no, this doesn't look correct. Hopefully I could help you out, and hopefully you will now be running the latest version of Quest operating system on your device, so that you can witness all the latest features and don't necessarily have to wait for the staggered rollout. Again, this won't be for everyone, but for those of you that do want to speed up the process and feel comfortable doing this, let me know how it went down below. If you have any issues, do join our Discord as well. Check out our Reddit where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. And if you like this video, please do leave a like. It helps the channel out a lot and it costs you nothing. If you disliked it, I guess it works too. But let me know why down below. Much love to the patrons, seriously, and thank you so, so much to anyone else leaving super thanks, anyone else donating. Much love. You're, you guys are helping out a ton. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about your content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. That is like so cool. Look, there's one there. There's another one over there. There's like plenty right here. They're everywhere. The charge points. And this was apparently sponsored by BMW.